Can you actually believe that January is almost over? It feels crazy to say it out loud, but I can't believe that February is just right the corner. I'm really excited for February actually because it's Fashion Week month. And this year I'll be lucky enough to go to London and Paris, so I look forward to that. But February is also my birthday, so I am thrilled about that. But it's still January, it's not February just yet, so I'm gonna share with you what has been my favorite products for the month of January. So the very first product that I want to mention is the Nivea Under the Shower Body Milk with Shea Butter. This is, I believe, a new release. Um, this has been around for a month. I talked about the original one in my Lizzie Beauty video that will pop the link to in the description box. But I love these because first of all, they rethink the packaging and it, this is great because I used to store the old one upside down in my shower. It was um, really working, but they redid the packaging so now it's really good. Um, I love the smell of it because it has shea butter in it, it smells really really nice, really nutty and warm, perfect for winter. This is the easiest way to moisturize your skin during winter because you apply it when you're in the shower, you get off the shower, you get dressed immediately, your skin is soft, moisturized and smells incredible. So I love these. If you haven't tried one, I highly recommend it. Another body lotion that I want to mention because it's winter and I like to have really soft skin because it can turn into a dry nightmare pretty quickly. This is the Bio Beauty by NYX Moisturizing Silky Lotion with Peach Extract. I've talked about Bio Beauty by NYX product before, I just love the brand and this isn't an exception. First of all, the smell is incredible. It smells like a peach yogurt. It is insanely good. I swear you could put that in a jar and I would eat it. That's how nice it smells. I love it because it sinks into my skin really quickly so I usually apply it before I go to bed at night but I can totally go with it in the morning because I don't have to wait even two minutes before getting dressed. You can get dressed immediately. It keeps my skin silky smooth, really soft and this year I'm trying to slowly switch to more natural organic products. I want to get rid of everything that I have in my bathroom before because my bathroom is like boots. Honestly, I have like drawers filled with products. I have like 25 shampoos and I only have one head. That's stupid. So um, I'm really glad I found that because it is a great product and it's organic as well. I don't know about you guys, but this month my skin has been acting crazy. I believe it's with the holidays, you know, we all overindulge on food, we don't drink enough water, we don't exercise as much as we should. So I've been dealing with extreme dry skin, precoats, redness, things that are just not my everyday thing really. So I've been reaching for um, this product which I've been loving. This is the Aesop Parsley Seed Cleansing Mask. I know that everyone talked about it and I didn't really get it because um, I don't have like greasy skin, I don't really need extra cleansing or anything. But I decided to pick it up when I was in London and I am so glad that I did. I love this mask because you apply it, leave it on for 15 minutes, it dries on your skin so you just rinse it off with warm water and it leaves your skin really, really clean. It really helps with bad breakouts, it really helps with redness, which I love because before I apply this, I had like really red forehead, it looks terrible, but after that, if I apply my moisturizer, it's all gone, it really calms your skin. I have dry skin, I was a bit worried to use it, but really, I've been using twice a week for the last few weeks and I've been loving it. I'm really curious to try more Issa product because I am so thrilled with this one that I think I'm gonna give a try to some of their other products but really it has been a really great discovery and it's totally worth the hype. Another product that I picked up when I was in London, it's the Indie Lab Pepta Bright. The reason I picked this one up is because I've been loving Hydroliron and I wanted something new and this is supposed to help brighten your skin. And in the dead of winter, I will really struggle with um, bright skin. My skin looks dull and I don't really like it. So I've been trying this one. To tell you the truth, this is a serum. I thought it wasn't going to be moisturizing enough for my dry skin. So I used to mix it up with um, my uh, Sampa serum during the day. But I found out that it's moisturizing enough so I can go with it for the day. So I use it every morning before I apply my moisturizer. I don't use any other serum with it now. It's fine, it keeps my skin moisturized enough and it really helps to brighten your skin. This month I've been loving a new perfume. This is from L'Occitane and it's a Cerise Rouge perfume. 
This is typically a perfume that I shouldn't be liking because it is floral, it has a bit of cherry blossom, it is on the sweeter side, but somehow I just love it. I've been wearing it every single day, which is something that never happens with a perfume for me. And I just love it. This is a new release and I'm so glad that I got it because I would never ever have picked it up because it's not my typical perfume choice. But as you can see, I've been loving it. I've been wearing it all month and I get complimented on it. So this is a new discovery and I thought I would share with you because it shows that sometimes um, you pick up a product that you think you're not going to like and you end up loving it. For my lips this month, I've been using the new Labello Fruity Shine in Watermelon and Peach. This is a new release. Just like any Labello sticks, it really keeps your lips moisturized, but it makes them shiny with a tad bit hint of color. So it is perfect to keep in your handbag or if you're just running to the grocery store, but you want to have something more on your lips than just a clear chapstick. And the truth is that I've been keeping the Watermelon one in my handbag and the peach one in my car. And Brussels is known for crazy traffic chains. So every time I'm stuck in traffic, I just apply it on my lips. And first of all, I have really good moisturized lips. That's a plus. And second of all, the smell of these is just so good. It smells exactly like the Bio Beauty body lotion. So every time I apply it and I'm stuck in traffic, it just instantly makes me happier and it really helps to enhance the natural color of your lips as well. This month, I've been loving a new foundation, and I'm talking like real foundation. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin, and I've been wearing it every single day. Because my skin has been acting crazy, a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer clearly wasn't enough for my skin. It wasn't covering everything I wanted to cover. And I've been watching for that and I actually love it. I apply it with a flat kabuki brush and it goes on, it covers everything you need to cover but it doesn't look cakey on the skin. It blends really nicely. I love the formulation of this. It stays on all day, um, doesn't smell funky because that's always important. It has an SPF of 20 in it, which is always a plus. And I've just been loving this foundation. It's crazy because um, apart from the Happy Light um, foundation from Bourjois, I haven't been using a straight up foundation for a month because I always reach for tinted moisturizer BB cream. But I think that this one keeps my skin as moisturized as a tinted moisturizer does and it helps me to um, get the coverage that I need. To go along with that, I've been trying a new product from Bourjois. This is a CC High Cream. And when I got it, I was skeptical about it because just like BB cream, CC creams are everywhere and I feel like a lot of them claim to be CC cream but you don't really get the real deal, that's just a hype thing. But I tried this one and I was crazily amazed by it. As you know, I have crazy under eye dark circles um, and I've been using that and it really helps to um, cancel the blueness of your dark circles. Before that, I was using the Bobbi Brown corrector and I love it, but it's really heavy and sometimes you don't want to deal with the whole blending thing. So I've been reaching for this little tube every single day and I am truly amazed by it. Another complexion product that I've been loving this month is also from Bourjois and this is a healthy balance powder. I picked this one up when I was in London because I needed kind of a new light powder and I heard so many good things about it and I'm glad I did pick it up because I like to powder my face because as much as I love a dewy finish, I always feel like my skin looks greasy on the T-zone even though I have dry skin. So I like to use um, a really light dual fiber brush and just apply a bit of powder on my T-zone. It really helps to mattify your makeup without looking too matte in the meantime. Um, I know it sounds a bit crazy to say but I'm sure you all know what I mean. I've got a new MAC blush. This is a Sheraton blush in Pink Suri. And when I first got it, I was so scared of the color. But surprisingly enough, this is really sheer. So you apply it, it doesn't have that much pigmentation, but it looks insanely good. It looks like you have been walking in the English countryside for an hour and you have a really nice natural flush. I've been loving it again. I've been wearing it every single day this month. Um, by the way, I think that everything I mentioned, yeah, I have on my face right now. I had the Maybelline foundation, the Bourjois powder. I have this blush on that tells you how much I love this product. 
I feel like in every favorites video I have a new favorite mascara but I've been trying this new thing where I really need to go through my mascara collection because I have a mascara collection which is bad because you're supposed to throw your mascara away after like six months but for some reason I always get mascaras and I want to try it and then I have a new one so I want to try it and I love it so I keep using for a week then I have a new one I want to try it and I build up a mascara collection. But this month I've been working in this collection and I picked up an old favorite. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before but it is so good that it deserves a new mention. This is from Yves Rocher and Yves Rocher is a brand that recently redid their product and I've been loving a lot of their stuff. This is the Sexy Pulp Volume Mascara and I love it because first of all it is super super black which is something that I always love. It really helps you to develop volume on your lashes. It lengthens them a bit but it really adds a lot of volume and I just love it because it is affordable and it's a great mascara. It doesn't like flick underneath your eyes, it stays on for the whole day, it makes your lashes look incredible. I feel like Yves Rocher is a brand that we all overlook but we need to have some incredible product and this mascara is just proof. Something else I'm wearing today, this is a Scandalize from Rimmel London eyeshadow paint. I have no idea what the shade is, um, I've been looking over the packaging and I can't seem to find the name of this color. But it is the bronzy shade that I have. I picked this one up again when I was in London because Rimmel was on offer 342 and I've never heard anything about these and this color is right up my alley. I love a good bronzy shade. I picked it up and this is by far one of the best things from the drugstore. I never tried a liquid eyeshadow before because I am scared of liquid eyeshadow and they often come like blue colors or pink or things like that I don't really want to try. So I decided to go for the bronze one. You can apply it without an eye primer. It stays put on your lids forever. That's the thing I've been using every time I go out at night. It is amazing. It stays on your eyelids forever. It doesn't seem to wear off. It doesn't crease. It doesn't do anything like that. And the color stays as intense as when you applied it. That's the one I used on my eyes today and it's so easy to create a makeup look. It comes with like um, a lip gloss kind of applicator. So you just swipe it on your eyelids, you swipe a bit underneath, take a blending brush, blend everything nicely and that's it. It takes like two minutes start to finish and it looks like you spend hours doing your makeup. Last but not least, I have a new favorite makeup brush. This is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eyeliner and I've been using it to define my lash line with a dark brown eyeshadow just like I did today. This is really good because you can get close to your lash line but it will um, smoke everything up so it's not like a straight eyeliner line. It really is good to um, blend your eye pencil, your eyeshadow, I just love this brush. And it's really dense and it's really flat so it's perfect to really work near your lash line and I've been using it every single time I use the Rimmel eyeshadow. I also want to quickly mention something is that I'm stupid and I, I accidentally deleted my YouTube channel a couple of months ago. Um, I managed thanks to my boyfriend to put it up again but I recently discovered that I lost all my subscribers. That means for you that if you subscribed to my YouTube channels month ago you might need to resubscribe again i'm sorry about that i'm just stupid i really shouldn't be allowed on the internet because i do stupid things like this all the time so um you might want to check that you are fully subscribed i will put the subscribe link in the down bar if you need it you can click here as well so make sure that you are subscribed i'm sorry about that i know it's annoying and i promise I will be really careful in the near future. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.